if you find a mildly flowing stream and you look under rocks, and if you're lucky, you might find these strange little blobs of jelly. At least that's what they look like. Just little black blobs of jelly. But if you hang about and wait for a while, you'll find they start to move. And they're anything but little blobs of jelly. They're in fact a very interesting little creature. Often overlooked, but very interesting all the same. They're a strange little worm, a very primitive kind, and they're known as planaria. Well, why are they so interesting? It's a bit easier to see them if we can uh, get them off the rock into a glass dish. So we'll just do that. I've got a few here. And if I lift them up, you can see them crawling around against my hand. And they're a kind of flat worm. You can see they are, in fact, very flat. And they crawl around on the, on the uh, flat bottom surface. But as you look at the head end, you can see which one it is, because it's the part going first. You notice two tiny little dots there. And for all that they're... Um, a rather primitive beastie. Those are sort of simple eye spots. They don't see the way your, uh, your eyes and my eyes see. They're just uh, really light sensitive. But they do tell the worm uh, whether it's bright or whether it's dark. And it likes the dark so it gets underneath rocks. But although that's a head that the eyes are on, it doesn't have a mouth. The worm does, but it's not in the head. To find it, we have to look underneath. And for that, I'll get another glass dish out of which I've emptied the water. They're not too keen on it if you take their water away, but if we turn that dish over, they should at least begin to crawl around. And when they do, in the middle of that flat undersurface, you can see just in the middle, there's a tiny little dot. About where you and I would have our stomach. In fact, that's the mouth of this particular worm. It has one opening to its gut, and that's there. It takes the food in there, digests what it can, spits the rest out in that opening. And it's right in the middle of the body, not up in the head end. Well, what else makes them particularly interesting? A few years ago, somebody found that you could train these little worms. They can just begin to learn something. And what was amazing was that if you cut them in half, which isn't terribly cruel because they can regenerate, the front half grows a new tail and the tail will grow a new head. What's more, each of the half worms can remember something. Not surprising that the head end can when it grows a new tail, but amazing that the tail end, once it grows a new head, can still remember what it knew before, or at least in part. So they're a very interesting animal for the scientists who are investigating what causes memory and where, me where things are stored up in our memory store. Well, if you're looking underneath rocks, whether they're sea rocks or pond rocks or stream rocks, remember lots of things live under them, and to save a lot of lives, put them back where you found them.